there are basically three people you should avoid in your life right now. One of these people are the people who do not understand the essence of time. When they do not know the essence of time, they can never respect time. And when they don't respect time, they will definitely waste your own time. The movie In Time by Justin Timberlake. I could remember vividly. The man wrote on the glass, do not waste my time. Because time is one paramount tool for you being successful. All the time a lot of people want to waste your time. All the time you've been around with people who do not understand the essence of time. All the time you sit your life building yourself with people who don't understand the component of time. As long as they don't understand the component of time, they are always going to waste your time. Listen up. When the rich speaks about their time, in the ears of the poor, it looks like they're speaking in tongues. They ain't speaking no shit. They're speaking a direct English. Do not waste my time. Don't waste people time. And when you find people in your life who are about being time wasters, let them be. Don't keep them no more in your life because you live by the essence of time. For everything you do, you do by the rules of time. You have a little but short time to live in this world too. Do not forget that as much as we live for a hundred years, we still live under the essence of time. And the second component is this. If you want to be free in your life, stay away from people who love sleep. Steve Harvey said some that why would you sleep on third of your day? What would your life be? Your life can be known. Why would you sleep on third of your day? You want to sleep eight hours. You love sleep so much. You tell yourself because I got known to do that's the more reason why I need to sleep. Who says that you need to sleep because you ain't got a job? Who says that you need to sleep because you don't have chores to do? Who said that you, do, you need to sleep because you, had, you don't have classes to do? You need to stay away from people who sleep. Just as I will put it as a practical example for you guys right now to understand. I want to compare these two people. I want to compare a banker and then a businessman. Listen up. A banker set out of his house around 6 a.m. in the morning just to be in the bank premises and only to leave at 5 p.m. Do you know why? When he gets back home, he just want to like take a sup and then take a nap or probably sleep because he knows he has another 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. in the next morning to catch up with the bank. He loves sleep. He can never joke with his sleep. Because he has to sleep to be better. But then, when you talk about a man who owns a business, he never want to sleep. Because he understands the fact that he is not on the 30-day payroll. He understood the fact that he is on the millisecond payroll. Because for him being a businessman, anybody at any time can call him. He needs to be up. So what I'm trying to tell you is this. For those people who love sleep, they don't understand the essence of opportunity. They don't understand what opportunity it feels like. They only understand the dictionary part of the opportunity. But they don't understand the true interpretation of opportunity. If you love sleep, oh, so many opportunities are going to pass beside you. So many of them are going to pass before you. And so many of them are going to pass behind you. Because you are sleeping. Because I said in one of my last videos that a mind that is woke is a mind that can think. But a mind that is sleep is completely shut down. Then you need to stay away from people who complain. For Offset and Drake said there ain't no complaints. People who complain too much are the people who can never do anything for you. People who complain too much are the people who find it so difficult to make shit work. People who complain too much are the people who believe in the theoretical part of life and not the practical part of life. For there ain't no complaint. So you need to stay away from people who complain too much. For life is about how much you act, not how much you say. And the truth is, whenever the poor cries, they want you to hear the fact that they are crying. They want you to understand that they are crying. They want you to feel your pain. That's why why is my brother the quote? He said even the rich also cry. Because there's no room for complaints. For you have to swallow your pain. You have to feel your pain. You have to feel it inside of you. For you have to make your life a part of a game. You need to stay away from people who do not ex respect the essence of time. You need to stay away from people who value sleep too much. And then you really need to stay away from people who love to complain, who give too much energy in complaining. Not until then, then you'll be having a whole lot in your life to fix. This is your homeboy group.